All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at this automatic chicken door. Automatic chicken doors are super handy for your chicken coop because you can set this to open up at a certain time of a morning and close at a certain time at night. You can also set this to raise and lower with the sunshine and the sunset. So you can do anything that you want to with this and it's going to allow you to either sleep in or if you're away, if you're gone on vacation, you're going to be able to uh, let your chickens in and out with this automatic door. Now they did send this one to me at no charge for this review. And so I'm going to show you uh, everything that's in the box. I'm going to show you how to set this up, show you how to install it. And then we're going to see it in action uh, when the chickens go in and out of this door. So the first thing is you get the door. Now the door is kind of different than other chicken doors. You do have two different power outlets and you get one power outlet for AC power and then you get one power outlet for backup batteries. I'm going to show you those here in just a second. On the door itself, you do have a large digital display, which we're going to look at real closely. And then you do have buttons here on the side so that you can set the time. You can also set it to open, close, or you can set it to light and the sensitivity of your light to open and close with the sunrise and the sunset. So that's your door. And it is a good solid frame door. I really like this. Uh, your chickens and your ducks are going to be able to bump into this and you're not going to have to worry about bending the frame. Uh, on the outside of the chicken coop, you do have a little sensor here. And what the sensor is going to do is uh, it's going to allow the door to open and close. So if there is something that is blocking this sensor, uh, the door will not close. It'll open up fine, but it just will not close. Okay, so we had to come back out here and uh, put the rest of the chickens in. And so they are just now going in and we're going to close this down for the night. And then we'll be back out here at uh, 7 a.m. to get this thing opened up. This is your battery backup. Now they don't send you any batteries and the battery backup takes eight AA batteries. In my opinion, that is an awful lot of AA batteries to run a chicken door. But it does specifically say on the outside that this is for a three day supply only. So if you have a power outage, then uh, you got a battery backup. You've also got two remote controls. Now, these are super nice remote controls that's going to allow you to open and close your door remotely so that you don't have to go all the way out to the coop. The only issue here is that it does take a special battery that is not included. It's not a double A, it's not a triple A. It is a smaller battery than that, not included. You also get a uh, rain shield so that you can put that over your, your coop. They also do give you uh, an adapter for your power, which means that this has always got to be plugged in. In order for your, your door to work, uh, it is not a solar powered door, it is not a battery powered door, it is a 110 outlet powered door. So it's always got to have electricity to it. Unless electricity goes out, then you can go ahead and you can power it with your battery backup. And then we're going to show you how to go ahead and set this up. Now, when I get out to the coop, I'm going to have to reset the parameters on this. But inside here, I just inside the garage here, I just want to show you how this is going to function, how it's going to work. So the first thing is we're just going to plug into the power and I can plug into either side because I do have AC power. Now to open it, there is a test test button right down here on the bottom side. And we're just going to push that test button and that's going to allow it to raise. We can stop it midway if we want to, and then we can go back down. And now I want to show you your, uh, your sensor here. So um, right now, everything is good with the distance. You can adjust the sensor distance by turning clockwise or counterclockwise. If you go counterclockwise, then you're going to really decrease that distance. And, and something's got to be right in front of that sensor in order for it to shut down, in order for it to stop. So let me show you how that works. So we're going down and now we're going to go in front of the sensor right there. The door stops and automatically goes back up. So if the door was going down and a chicken was going in, it's going to stop and it's going to let the chicken in one more time. I'll show that to you. I just want you to notice this, that on the back side, it's going to show you when it is operating and when it is not. So you can see there's something in the, in the way of the, uh, the infrared light here, so it's not going to work. However, if I point it off to the side, when the, that backlight is off, this will go ahead and go down, put my finger in front of it, it's going to stop it. 
Okay, so when I push my set button, you're going to see a number one that's going to pop up here. And you got seven different settings on here. So it's going to go the time, then it's going to go the open, then it's going to go to close. Number four is going to be your infrared light or your, your light sensor. And I'll just walk through that with you real quick. So I'm going to push my set and you can see the one. Now I'm going to set my time and we're just going to say it's 12 o'clock and then push my set button again. And I can set my minutes to whatever the minute is. And uh, because it is noon, it's going to go ahead and shut down on its own manually. I can go ahead and, and raise that again. Press my set button. That's going to be, it said 2TOP, which is open. So if I wanted to open it like 7 a.m., I can set it just like that. And then to close, these are, this is going to be on a 24-hour time. So right here, we got 7 p.m. Uh, we would actually want to close that at about 6 p.m. currently right now. And that's just how it's going to be. This is going to be number four. L is going to be my light sensor. And you probably just want to have that at about a medium. Um, and then the closing, you want it to be, uh, this is going to be dusk. You just want to have that at a medium as well. Now, this is going to be if you want that to be on or off. And I want mine off the light off both times and then we're just going to do these functions here and leave them set how they are now it's just to set it and forget it and uh, this is going to open up at the time that i set it's going to close at a time that i set and so i think the next thing that we need to do is just get out to the uh, the coop and get this installed okay so we do have the chicken door installed here it was just the four screws just real quick and easy to do uh, we do have power coming out to the coop and so i've got it plugged in here I do have the time set and I've also got the uh, the open and close set for 7 a.m. and uh, 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test this. One thing that you want to make sure of when you do your test is that if the frame is bent, then the door is not going to close down all the way. So make sure that when you're putting your, your frame screws in that you don't put it in so far that you warp the door. Now, you do have a pretty sturdy frame here, so uh, I don't think that you're going to run too great of a risk of bending that door. But uh, just remember that the, the frame of this door uh, really has to be straight in order for it to work correctly. Now, if there was a bend or a bow in the door, this is not going to close all the way. It would actually stop right at the bow. But you can see that it's going down fine and uh, closing completely. And uh, because it is midday, it's actually 1245 in the afternoon right now. We're going to go ahead and raise that up. So we'll be out here tonight again at seven or six o'clock to make sure that it closes on its own. And then we'll be out here again at seven o'clock in the morning, make sure that it opens on its own. If it does that, we should be setting pretty good.